Stand by. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Open. Bring my audio down just a little bit, Jim. Shannon, uh, Mike, start me a sweep, please. And go, Mike, go. Welcome to the Ole Miss Softball Complex here in Oxford. Ready, five. Sports television is a part of a lot of Americans' everyday lives. But what do we really know about how it's created? Since their very first live broadcast, ESPN has revolutionized the way that we watch sports. Since that time, one of ESPN's biggest projects has been the launch of the SEC Network. Since the launch in August of last year, the network has been working hand-in-hand -hand with each of the 14 SEC schools. Their goal? To have as many SEC games and sports broadcasted as possible. David Dillard is the director of all SEC Network Plus games that come out of Ole Miss. His job is to make sure that the show runs as smoothly as possible. It's like a, it's kind of like a symphony. Uh, the director is kind of like the conductor of the symphony. Everybody has their part, and if everybody plays their part and plays it correctly, then we turn out a great product. Before the SEC Network was launched, Ole Miss already had their own professional broadcast called Rebel Vision. Because of this, the transition into producing network quality games became much simpler. Before the SEC Network even came into fruition, I mean, what Ole Miss has been doing with Rebel Vision through the years, uh, I think they are already ahead of the curve. Production-wise, our, our production talent's at the top, that we're top of the SEC. Uh, we've got a very experienced crew. Um, our guys know what they're doing. They, they know television. They understand what they're doing. Um, we've also got some really good students working for us. I think it's on, yeah. All right, so go ahead and tarp it. Tarp doesn't really work well for this camera. You just kind of have to mess with it. Ole Miss sophomore Mark's man is one of these students. He's the youngest on a crew of over 15 people. He is in his second year as a camera operator and has seen the transition firsthand. Rebel Vision existed before this, so we kind of had an idea of what was going on and what we were doing. We weren't far off from what the SEC Network and the SEC Network Plus wanted from each of the 14 schools. And what the network wants is for every school to meet ESPN broadcast quality expectations. Also, more broadcasts equals more opportunities. And this is something I've been wanting to do since I was a kid, to do play-by-play -play at the D1 level. So this is a, an opportunity for me to do something that I've been dreaming about my whole life. It really comes down to the crew. We have one of the best crews that I personally have ever worked with, and I honestly, I think in the SEC. but. Um, from our director, David Dillard, just knocks out of the park every game. The, the goal over the next few years is to get everybody up to that same level so that as time moves on, you don't see production trucks rolling in as much and, and more of that production is shifted to the, to the school. With the increase in in-house production, this means that more work will be available for students as well as experienced veterans. ESPN and the SEC Network's mission is to serve sports fans anytime, anywhere.